A cab driver from Wichita, Kansas, is opening up about the night that he was stabbed multiple times by a man who grabbed a ride. 60-year-old Jay Waiton picked up two people last week, and one of them started attacking him from behind. Police said the suspect stabbed Waiton in the head and stabbed him in the neck and then started to beat him. Waiton managed to escape, but he lost his left eye and has stitches on his arms, face, and head. He believes that this all could have been avoided if there had been some sort of protection in the taxi. Uh, I do have some. Missouri State Senator Paul Lovato will hold a town hall meeting in Independence today. It starts at 7 o'clock tonight at Truman High School. The public's invited to attend. Lovato will talk about recent developments in the state's capital and also hear any concerns people may have. People living on an island in Washington state are watching the coastline this morning after a massive landslide. A Pennsylvania caretaker was accused of drinking more than $100,000 worth of old whiskey. A historic mansion was purchased last year with the intent of turning it into a bed and breakfast. Look at that old whiskey. During renovations, though, a stockpile of this old whiskey made back in the early 1900s was discovered. The owner says that she later discovered that four cases were missing. Your life. Some mechanics say that hybrids have a potential hidden danger for passengers and first responders during a crash. Julian Johnson has this story. When they have a holy day, 41 Action News at 5 starts right now. Now, from Kansas City's breaking news leader, this is 41 Action News. Put in those you know, earphones and listen to the game as you're at church. <laughs> That's yeah. People do that, Brad. What do you be like? Oh, you know they do. I mean, it's the same homily that they probably heard last <laughs> Easter. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis J. And I'm Chow Chow. What are you looking around for lightning? lightning? <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. You know, it's a re-rack of the same homily. All right. <laughs> wow. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> The Birmingham, Alabama airport is changing the way signs are displayed. This change comes after that 300 pound flight information sign fell on top of an Overland Park family where 10 year old Luke Bressett died and his mother critically hurt. The family was on their way home from a spring break trip when all this occurred. The group in charge of making sure that airports are safe recommends that the displays now be affixed to the wall. But Birmingham Mayor William Bell says that's not enough. He's pushing for more answers as to what went wrong and how it can be prevented. Funeral arrangements for Luke Bissett are still pending. We'll keep you posted. Well, a local school that's been closed for a few years now could reopen next year. Hail Cooks. Budget issues have forced the release of hundreds of illegal immigrants. Officials have also scaled back border agent hours, drug patrols, and staffing at border crossings. Now, despite these cuts, the White House says immigration reform is at the top of the president's agenda. And the U.S. military tuition assistance program will not be suspended after all. The Department of Defense will pick up the tab 